All right, kids. So I am trying to get everything ready for Valentine's Day and usually for me that means getting together candies and toys and stuff so that I can fill up buckets or baskets or bags or whatever for my friends kids because I can't resist a themed event and I can't resist gift giving. So I'm at the Dollar Tree. Come on and shop with me. Alright. Look at all this stuff. Okay. I am overwhelmed. I don't even know where to start. Dinosaurs! Okay, so these are definitely happening because I can bring brownies or cookies or whatever to my son's therapists in these. Very cute. Okay, this is what I did last year. I got these little like mailboxes and I filled them with goodies and Valentine cards and things. But these are these seem to be cardboard. The ones I had last year were metal. But I think I got those at Target. But these are all so cute. Got stickers and these balloon things. Lots of choking hazards though. So I got these little paint things, but I don't know what to put them in or what to put in there with them. Hmm. 24 hours later. Okay guys and gals, I am at Target and I'm going to check out the dollar spot. Is that what it's called? I'm gonna check out the dollar spot and see what they have for Valentine's Day. I want to find any sort of little toys or tchotchkes that I can use to fill in the blanks from the stuff I got yesterday at the Dollar Tree. I also want to see if maybe I find my son a cute like Valentine's Day themed shirt. Maybe I'll try to look for some of the baking supplies that I'm gonna need for the cookies or brownies or whatever it is that I end up making for his teachers. So join me, shall you? Hallelujah! 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 Okay, I don't know what this is, but it's cute. This I like. Little trucks and stuff. That's gonna be cute. Okay. Boom! Oh, is that all they have? Oh, they just have shapes. Hmm. Oh, animals! I like animals. Alright. Look at all these cute little cards. What are these stickers? That's cute. Stamps. Puzzles. Hmm. The puzzles could be nice. Fuzzy socks. That is adorable. Oh wow. Look how cute. Uh, are you lost? These are cute. They're like little Valentine's cards but with stuff on them. These look like slugs. What are these? Unicorn flingers. Okay. Look at that. Aww. Hi. Look at this guy. <gasps> He's so cute. Look at these adorable little mailboxes for receiving Valentines. So cute. Mickey! I am a little disappointed. They don't have any Valentine's shirts in, period. Not for boys, not for girls, nothing. And I was also looking for the Black History Month stuff since I'm already here. And apparently other stores have it already, but these guys don't. I did get an Easter shirt. Way too early, but how could I resist? No Valentine's Day sprinkles either. How am I supposed to decorate whatever I bake if there's no sprinkles? Alright guys, so here's all the stuff I got at the Dollar Tree and Target for Valentine's Day. I still have to get some stuff as far as groceries, but these are the things that I'm using for this year. So from the Dollar Tree, I got this nice little tin, and I always get these little tins for my friends to um, put cookies or brownies or whatever I'm going to bake in them. 
So that's a nice little individual gift. And there's that. Here are the plastic tubs that I showed you guys yesterday or a few minutes ago since you guys are not watching this one day to the next. So these I will fill with the same brownies or cookies or whatever I bake for my friends and I will bring them to my son's therapy center for his therapists. They've got these nice little lids. And the great thing about getting these sorts of things at the Dollar Tree is that I'm practically guaranteed to never see these again. But it's fine because they only cost me a dollar, so it's okay. I also got these little baskets. I just got two. Probably should have gotten more, but that's fine. And the baskets, the things I'm preparing are, just so you have it in mind, it's for four different kids and they are of varying developmental age between three and six years old. So just so you have an idea of what's going on here. I got some stickers. Everybody loves stickers so I'm going to divide these up between the four baskets or bags as it were because I got bags as well. So two bags, two baskets. I made sure to get these little treat bags because sometimes I'll do cake balls and I like to individually wrap those and then put them in the container so that the therapists don't get their hands dirty when they're trying to pick something out. Because I still don't know what I'm baking as of right now, I decided to get them just in case so that I don't have to go back and get more later if I do decide that I want to get something like that. I got each of the kiddos one of these painting sets. It's just either robots or aliens, but I thought they were adorable, so everybody's going to get a painting set. Everybody gets a pair of glasses. These are just an excuse to get some fun, silly things in there. There's some more stickers. Everybody loves stickers. Fun necklaces, because why not? For the Target things, I got these cute little animals. I don't even know what they're for. They're just really cute. The parents of all these kids are going to hate me because I'm just like, Hey, your house looks empty. Let me give you some stuff to throw in it. But I thought this was really cute and fun activity. And then this is exclusively for my son. <laughs> I got him a little slinky because he absolutely loves these. And I got him a puzzle because puzzles are his absolute favorite thing ever. But yeah, that's everything I have so far. The two older kids are not going to be getting these other toys or any equivalent, but um, they are going to be getting some of the treats that I bake. The other two kids have food sensitivities and allergies, so they're not probably going to get any chocolate or baked things or anything. So this is kind of making up for that. Um, but yeah, so f I feel like I've got everything I need as far as making cute little baskets or something you know i always try to do this for all of the holidays for the kids and it's probably really extra but i just really like holidays <laughs> and any excuse to come up with a themed anything is a-okay by me keep in mind none of this is really supposed to be functional it's just fun and i like uh filling my friends homes with crap <laughs> apparently so kids love it Maybe the parents not so much, but I think it's fun, so hopefully they agreed, at least to some extent. So now I've got to figure out what I'm going to bake, sort out what ingredients I need so that I can buy these ingredients, and um, that's pretty much it. And then when the time comes, I'll just bake and assemble everything, and I'll be ready for Valentine's Day. By the way, don't feel bad for my husband. He already got his Godiva chocolates like two weeks ago because he found them and he ate them before Valentine's Day. So he already got his. Three weeks later. I just came back from the market to get all of the ingredients that I need for the goodies that I'm baking. And I may need to go back because I thought I had baking powder and I don't think I do now. So that's fun. And these I actually did not find at the grocery store. I got these on Amazon and they were the very last ones in stock. So I got lucky, but I finally got my Valentine sprinkles. I got the baking powder. All right, it's Wednesday. It's the day before Valentine's Day. We're finally home. We're going to do some baking. Got my hair picked up. Got to wash my hands. But we're going to make some red velvet bars. So it's basically like a brownie but it's red velvet instead of just regular chocolate. And then it's topped with cream cheese frosting. Everything is gonna be from scratch. The only exception is the sprinkles, obviously. But yeah, 
frosting is from scratch, the brownies are from scratch, so let's get going. Now I didn't include the whole process in this video because this video is already going to be kind of long what with the shop with me and I still have to prepare the baskets and I want you guys to be able to see all that. So if you guys want to see like a cook with me, bake with me type of video where I prepared these red velvet brownies, let me know in the comments and I'll post that video soon. Okay, so speaking of the baskets, while that's cooling and waiting to get frosted, I'm going to start putting everything together and I'll just show you guys the end result when it's all said and done. So I've got my bags for the kiddos that are not getting baked treats or chocolate and I've got my little bucket bin things for the kiddos that are. So let's set everything up here first and then for the therapist you might recall, well to you guys, it's just been a couple minutes. To me, it's legit been like a month. But I bought these little buckets, so I'm gonna put the individually wrapped brownies in here, and that is how I will hand them over to their therapists, to the therapists. Let's start filling things up. We've got the toys for the non-food kiddos. Then we've got this tin, remember, for my friend. So that's gonna be filled with brownies as well. We'll get to that soon enough. Little wooden animal, guys. Let's get one in here, one in here. Boom, boom. All these stickers. So many stickers. Too many stickers. I'm bananas for you. Our awesome glasses. I'll give my kid the pink ones because I know that he doesn't mind. Got our paint sets. Alien for you, robots for you. Very nice. Right now I'm just kind of throwing things in here just so that I know what goes where, but I'll I'll try to organize it a little better <laughs> as I progress. Okay, so we've got the baggies. These are gonna be for the brownies. More stickers. These are scent, these are scented. What? Okay, that's even cooler than I originally thought. Oh my gosh, so cute! Last thing is these fun necklaces. Beautiful. Or there's two pink and two red. So let's do... Whoever got pink glasses gets her red necklace and vice versa. Just to keep it fair. Because these are for boys and I really don't care about gender conformative color rules but other people might or other parents might, so... So that's it, the baskets are done. All that they're missing now is, well, the bags are completely done. That's what the guys are getting, period. And then the baskets are just missing their little treats now. So I think that's kind of cute. You know, it's not a huge amount of stuff, but it's enough stuff. It's nice, fun things for them to do. So let's see what I come up with for Easter now. Okay, I don't know about these bags anymore. I think I might need to layer the brownies in the containers and then just put like parchment paper in between the layers and hope for the best. But this is not, that's not very appealing looking, is it? Thank you.
you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me get ready for Valentine's Day. Let me know what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from my channel. Thanks so much again for watching and I'll catch you guys at the next vlog. Bye!